If we are all cut from the same fabric of life, then by definition we share the same mental acuity, the same raw human potential, the same genius. So we are at the Vancouver Convention Center for Genome BC's annual Don Ricks keynote speaker address event. So we learn from Wade Davis about the connection from cultural and science. I thought that Wade Davis' speech was super inspiring. I, I couldn't help feeling like if I was a young student, one of the students who were here, I would have just been so absolutely taken with him and just completely inspired. We grew up in a world where just getting people to stop throwing garbage out of a car window was an environmental victory. Nobody spoke about the biosphere or biodiversity. Now those terms are part of the vernacular of school children. I think the biggest message that um, I was reminded of is just how important it is to believe in science, but at the same time hold what some people would say is a contradictory viewpoint about being open to things that science doesn't know about and how do we incorporate that into our way of being moving forward. And the thing that I found really inspiring was that one gets the sense that so much of indigenous culture is maybe dying and he gave me the impression that a lot of this is still alive. It's about finding ways that everybody can engage with the modern but critically without that engagement demanding the death of their ethnicity. And the reason the voices of these cultures are so important is that their very existence shows that, that other ways of being are possible. I think I'm going to be raving about this event. I really enjoyed the lecture today, it was wonderful. This was our first year coming and definitely going to return in the future. Life is made up, as Joseph Campbell said, of a series of crossroads, serendipitous moments when you have to make a choice. And the critical thing is at that moment to have cultivated an inner compass of some sort so that you're not listening to peers, you're not listening to your parents, you're not listening to teachers, not listening to the, 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 the social zeitgeist and you're making your own decision and that's the key to a happy life.